All right, g'day guys. So I have recently remembered that a couple of weeks ago now, probably three weeks or more ago, I actually took a couple of um, planetary nebula images. So I decided I didn't really have a lot of time. It's been, like I said, the weather's, I might have already said it's been, the weather's been really, really cloudy here. So what I've done is I've actually taken the focal reducer. I took the focal reducer off of the C925 here. And I thought maybe it'd be worth having a go at, um, you know, just some s short imaging sessions and maybe capture a couple of those planetary nebula that I've, you know, I've seen in the past, but um, they've always been a bit small and I've sort of, you know, just not bothered basically. So this now runs at 2,000, 2,350 millimeters. Now those nebula are tiny, so they're still going to be really, really small um, in my field of view. However, um, I did get, I managed to get this one night, or maybe one and a half nights, where I got probably about somewhere, not very many, but maybe between 30 and 40 exposures, around three to five minutes, depending on which of the, the two nebula. So yeah, this was the setup, like I said, mainly without the focal reducer and the 533 um, one-shot color camera here. And I also had in the, um, the uh, uh, dual narrowband, five, five nanometer dual narrowband um, Antlia filter that I use quite a lot. So let's get on to, we'll get onto the computer as well and we'll have a look at these and I can show you um, a little bit of information about these two planetary nebula. They're really tiny. Um, I'd never heard of them before, but then um, let's, let's have a look. All right, so let's have a look. So we've got this one, um, let's bring this, Let's bring this over here. So this is NGC 3699. So this is one of the nebula I tried to capture. Um, it's in the Centaurus constellation, situated yeah, south of the celestial equator. Well, let's have a look where this is on. There's not a lot of information that I've actually found on this. Um, yeah, it seems to be fairly Spartan the amount of information that I've been finding on this. If we have a look in Stellarium, so here it is. So that's, it's not a bad, I mean, it is very small, but it's not a, it's not terribly small, you know, it's not as bad as I thought it would be, but this is where it's situated. So you've got the Carina Nebula, you know, sort of here. So it's kind of between Carina and the Centaurus um, constellations. Um, off to the, you know, just down from the Statue of Liberty and the Running Chicken. So it's kind of equidistant from a lot of those big, you know, the, the ones that will kind of take, take quite often in the, um, the Southern Hemisphere. Um, so in terms of, yeah, information about this particular nebula, let's have a look. NGC 3699, um, a planetary nebula divided, okay. So here's, oh, here's a better, this is a, I mean, this is a much better image than I managed to get of it. This fetching cloud of gas, this fetching cloud of gas, that's quite a nice way of describing it, um, is a planetary nebula. It's distinguished by an irregular mottled appearance. Yeah, it's not, yeah, it's not the most kind of, um, I guess you'd say planet looking planetary nebula. Um, so, yeah, William Herschel. So there's, again, there's not really, um, apart from the image here, there's not, not a lot of um, information on this apart from its location. So leave a comment, you know, if you've got any, um, if you guys have got any more information out there, please, yeah, leave leave a comment because I'm, I've really struggled to find very much on this. What have we got here, universe guide? Planetary nebula, yes, 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 369. It's radial velocity, angular size, facts and figures. Centaurus is the constellation it's classified as being in. Um, yeah, so that's about it. So there you go, guys. That's that's the information I have on NG. I'll show you my images in a minute, but they're not particularly. My images of this are um, they're fairly modest, but you know, I thought it'd be interesting at least to have a. Well, let's have a look. Here we go. So here's, here it is. This is what I got. So this is NGC 3699. So this is this small planetary nebula. 
Look, I only managed about 30 exposures on this. Um, I went for about, uh, I think I got five minute subs on this. So I did manage to bring a little bit of the kind of gas. Um, I managed to bring a little bit of the gas around it and I got some blues and some reds in there. Um, so, you know, I think considering, and I think the star colors, I know this is narrowband imaging, but I, I still think that the, the colors of the stars here came in as well, looked quite nice. So there you have it, NGC 3699. All right, so that's the first one I managed to get. Now the second one was um, this guy here. So, all right, so this is the second, this is the second one, guys. So this is a really, really, this is a really nice looking uh, this is a really nice looking nebula, planetary nebula. Now, this is particularly small in my field of view. So let's have a look at this first in Stellarium because you'll see just how, this is IC4406. So it's called the Retina Nebula. Now look at how small this thing is for me. Um, so look, I didn't have the highest of expectations um, for this object. And I didn't manage to get much more than about 25 exposures. Again, the sort of, you know, the, the weather came in and, and had me here, but um, this is the retina nebula anyway. And in terms of its position for the Southern Hemisphere guys here, so it's kind of in the same similar ballpark. So it's within Centaurus. Um, you've got it sort of down here from the big globular cluster, Alpha Centauri. So yeah. And then, you know, you've got Centaurus A across here. And yeah, it's just sort of situated. Whoops. Let's go back to it here. So there you can see where it is. Look, the retina nebula. All right, so if we go and have a look at this in terms of Hubble's, image of this as you can see it's pretty spectacular <laughs> my god so yeah pretty amazing and we're looking at it according to what it's telling us here we're looking at this side on so it's um yeah it's left and right half is pretty much a mirror image if we could fly around ic4406 in a spaceship we would see that the gas and the dust form a vast donut of material streaming outwards. We don't see the donut. Um, we don't see the donut in this shape because of the vantage point. So obviously we're looking at it, but it would look pretty amazing eh, if we were looking at it from, um, yeah, looking at it from a um, top down kind of perspective. Now, like I said, look, I didn't get a lot of time on this guys. This was more of a bit of fun. Um, so <laughs> this is my, this was my um, IC4406, the Retina Nebula. So ridiculously tiny. I didn't really get any sort of detail in it at all. Um, but you can kind of make out that at least there's a red, bit of red going around the outside. Um, when I processed this, I just had to keep the middle under control because um, the, the middle was blowing out constantly. So yeah, not much there, but you know, Sometimes I think it's fun to have a go at these really um, obscure little objects that we kind of often just, you know, they get kind of overlooked because they're so tiny and so far away. So um, yeah, I think that was, I think it was still worth having a go at these. Now, obviously they're nothing like, you know, something like the Helix Nebula down here, which is massive and one of, the, one of our favorite planetary nebulas down here, which we love taking. All right, guys, so that's about it. Um, I did at least manage to get a little bit of data on these two little planetary nebula that I actually knew nothing about until only a few weeks ago. Sometimes it is nice just to have a look at these more, um, you know, obscure, obscure sort of objects that, um, you know, I just wouldn't think, I just wouldn't think to image, to be honest. So um, without any further ado, I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you got something out of looking at those and um, I wish you all clear skies and um, I'll see you soon guys. Mm -hmm.